Hello guys, Megapixel here, back with some more Hearts of Iron 4, where uh, today we're going to be trying to take out Germany before 1940, so in 19 1939, the year that the war actually started. So um, yeah, uh, we're going to play as France, and I'll show you guys what my plan will be once we load in. So, uh, regular and Iron Man mode, let's go. Alright, for research, I'm just gonna do the usual that stuff, and then uh, put down some sieves. You don't really need that many, so I think I'm gonna stick to that for now. Um, guns, we need a good amount of guns. We're not gonna make any light tanks. Um, Yeah, getting rid of all those submarines, destroyers. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put two factories on towed artillery and then have these guys catch up in a bit. Um, for national focus, so this is gonna be the plan. Oh, uh, we're gonna do form the Popular Front, go down to review foreign policy, and then uh, we're probably gonna do um. So we will do confirm Eastern commitments and form the Little Entente. Uh, this will be how we're going to strike at Germany uh, quickly in 1938 when they try and take the Sudeten land from Czechoslovakia. Uh, we will fight them and we will hopefully take them out within a year's time. And after we do this, um, after we get Czechoslovakia and Poland, I think I'm going to do strengthen the government. I'll let that run for a year so we can get rid of this uh, disgusting national focus where we don't get, uh, God. Yeah, right here, daily political power. So that is not too good. So yeah, um, we can wait for a little, um, you can start rearmament as well, um, in between, but you want to make sure, but by the time, uh, Germany annexes Austria and does the Anschluss that you have all your members in. And uh, what I like to do with these uh, colonial divisions here is um, I take them all and I convert them to the good template. So just so it's wait, what am I doing? Uh, just so we don't have to use these crappy ones or just delete them um, because we'll, we're gonna have to get them get more divisions anyway. So. Yeah, um, just put a fallback line here, and generals, I'm just gonna put, you know, whichever generals we have. Switch all these, yeah, we have nowhere near the amount of equipment re uh, required, but it's okay. Um, on the front with Italy, make sure you get the Mountaineer General over here, whatever he is. There he is, the Mountaineer guy. And I uh, actually should put this here. And now we wait. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, formed the Popular Front, and we also have the remilitarization of the Rhineland. We don't really care. And now we're gonna reform the labor laws, make our production efficiency a little bit better, because right now it is absolutely terrible. Again, another terrible national spirit, whichever one, there it is, an efficient economy. Yeah, France is not exactly the greatest country to start off with. Uh, also, I'm not going to be training any divisions, um, just because we don't have the equipment for it. Alright, so the public demands rearmament, so yes, we will go to early mobilization, which is pretty good for, at least, for us at least because we are uh, not doing great in literally anything so anything that helps helps all right there we go now we can just immediately run to uh, review foreign policy which is what I'm gonna do because I want that political power so I can hire the silent workhorse 
Ah, uh, here he is. Yeah, so we can actually start getting a bit more political power because we are getting one every four days. Uh, here, um, you know, you can, it's your choice, but I prefer dispersed just because I will be moving my factories around a lot and I want that uh, retention. All right, so now we've got that. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do begin rearmament really quick, uh, just so I can hopefully uh, work on getting rid of this huge deficit, which is just absolutely crippling me right now. Uh, with the next um, bit of political power you get, I'd say go and try and get the uh, not him, uh, the army maneuver or army. Offense or defense. Uh, I prefer maneuver just because this 5% isn't really going to do anything. So might as well get the division speed and hopefully start uh, being able to outmaneuver the Germans who will have some tanks and stuff, but we'll start using our motorized for that. Alright, so we're going to get the chief of the army and get the army manu uh, maneuver. Start getting that political power. Or not political power, um, army experience gain. And here we got the new military factories. Just oh, signed a bunch to guns. Start making. Oh my God, I I'm so stupid. Oh, come on. All right, I lost a couple of days because of my stupidity, but that's all right. And I'm gonna edit this division. Add some artillery. Yes, it is going to make us need a shit ton of artillery. 1.3k. Yeah. Not great, but oh well. Alright, so now we're going to confirm Eastern Commitments and uh, get, you know, what does it do? Oh, it gives us the, um, it makes everyone like us and it gives us that one um, war support guy. The Hawk. So we will use that and we will get him. Um, when I can, or I might actually do with this batch of political power, I will improve worker conditions because our stability is not the greatest. And I will um, make sure that we don't get any negative you know, events while we're at war with, German with the Germans and all that. So yeah, stability is helping us get a little bit more pro uh, political power. Alright, so I'm going to use this division, I'm going to remove all of these guys, save that. I don't really mind the usage of all that equipment and all that, but I'm just going to actually wait. I'll do this in a little bit. Um, once we have a bit more equipment, I will start spamming out those divisions. And then once we... I'm going to change this to uh, probably something else. But um, I will use these guys to deploy to the field quickly and then I'll switch them all to infantry. There we go, confirm Eastern Commitments. To strengthen, strengthen the little Entente. And we'll invite Poland, Yugoslavia, Romania, and the UK and all of its Commonwealth nations. And if you're not playing on regular difficulty, then um, what you can do is you can start using your pol uh, political power, start influencing Hungary, and then maybe get them on your side. It's unlikely, but you can try. Poland's about to join in a second. There we go. And now we will do strengthen the government. And Japan declared war on China. So what I'd say now is get the Hawk. Um, that's a lot of war support. You can switch to uh, partial mobilization now, um, and then maybe even get to uh, war economy if you can. Yeah, that is actually. Hmm. I don't think I've ever tried that before. Getting to war economy, I think it's actually possible. So if you wanna, yeah, we can definitely get to partial mobilization, which is what we're going to try and do soon. Uh, strengthen the government is also going to give us a lot of stability as well, uh, which is why I decided to get the Hawk, since he gets rid of a bit of stability for us, but we will uh, get 
a lot of it back through strengthening the government. And our logistics are looking alright. So now we'll start training all these guys. Uh, we're going to try and get full army. And yeah. We're not going to set a location or anything. We're going to deploy them all at once. Alright, with our next uh, batch of political power, we will move up to... We will move up to partial mobilization um, when we can. Also, with when you're inviting Romania, just so you guys know, um, make sure you have at least 12 military factories before you invite them, or they will decline and they will not join. Yeah, we're just that's that's not good. Um, so we're gonna invite Romania, and we will this on total artillery. All right, once we invite Romania and join the Entente and do invest in our weaker allies, uh, we should be good to go with pretty much everything. All right, Romania joins and I will join the Entente. There it goes. Austria. All right, there we go. I'm going to Drop these all down. Oh, shoot. Drop them all down there. Deploy all. We're gonna actually cancel this line now. Don't need it. Oh my goodness. That is not. Oh boy. Ooh. And uh, before you for uh, before I forget, I'm actually going to. Oh shoot. Um, make sure that the second uh, Germany Anschluss is that you put your troops where you should put your troops, you know, here, so they don't take uh, Danzig really quickly, because if they take Danzig, then you have to go all the way through here, which is not really fun, and you won't get good supply in this area, so yeah, make sure you get, uh, what is this, Con Conisberg, East Pressure, I think, that's what they call it. Um, also put an army here in Czechoslovakia on the border with Germany and get another army, put them here on the border with Poland. Yes, the majority of our army will be in Eastern Europe fighting. Uh, oh, and Lithuania will also join your faction soon. Um, when the Germans uh, demand Mamel and the Lithuanians will say no because you will be absolutely destroying the Germans and they will be out of East Prussia so Lithuanians will say no they'll declare war and then they'll join our faction as well so we have now gone up to partial mobilization and the UK has joined wonderful now let's invest in our weaker allies, and then we will do probably foreign guest workers, and then start doing this stuff, or maybe even this stuff. Probably get the military factories here, and then go down and uh, remove an efficient economy, which is kind of annoying. And then just train up another full army. Yeah, we, we have the equipment for this, or we should soon have the infantry equipment for this. Yeah, most of these guys are starting to get equipped pretty quickly. It's mostly just artillery and support equipment, which is kind of holding us back. And one of the best ways to um, immediately take out Germany is to attack here and push up this way, encircling probably like here or even here if you can. Um, you take out these divisions here and it just becomes a cakewalk. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you want, you can grind all over the Germans, but... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Okay, that, that sounded weird. Come on. Oh, there we go. Started. So now, let's watch all these divisions flow up from Romania. Oh, wait, what? Republic in Spain? What? Okay. That, that's... At least for the first time, 
Nationalist Spain is one. That's always good. Or that's not good, but not, 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 whatever. Get these guys in attack. All right, here's the Mia conference. Must prepare. Do that. Um, two on that. One on that. And one there. All right, and ooh, just on time as well. Let's put these guys here. Deploy them all. For that, switch these all to Division de Infanterie. Uh, actually, we can't do that yet because we have no manpower. These guys. Alright, there we go. Uh, Jordan Wars, make sure you join immediately so your troops can actually help. But call everyone in so they also help with this area of the line. And now we'll set up our terrible air power. UK is giving us a lot of guns. Shiraj is giving us some guns. Yeah, right now, all we really need are guns. Oh, we're not gonna use... Okay. So here's the thing. Yes, the UK is sending us divisions, but all these divisions are trash. They are literal garbage. If you want to go with the... Uh, I guess, thinking of, well, it's better us using them than uh, the UK. Well, I mean, go ahead. But... Ah, oh, fine, I'll take them. But they are just terrible. I'm, I'm just gonna put them on the line, on the Maginot. And maybe use them to try and make some kind of breakthrough there, even though it's very unlikely. These guys are just terrible in every way. They just suck. Alright, uh, now we will try and make the breakthrough like this. But yeah. Uh, as you can see by this already quite chunky Czechoslovakia. Oh, come on. Now we're going to get our first doctrine, which is obviously going to be superior firepower. Yeah, Germany is not going to have a good time. They're about to get owned. Alright, there goes that part. And we are already on Berlin. In 1938, October of 1938, we are about to steamroll through. Let's look at the casualties. Yeah, we've taken a lot of casualties, but so have the Germans. It's just because we are throwing all of our divisions in there. I mean, we're, we're keeping it. Oh, come on. Really? 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 Oh. That is so annoying. And push, and push. Uh, yeah, we'll get all those as well. Now, oh, there we go. And Lithuania has now joined our faction, even though I didn't invite them. It's whatever, I don't care. And uh, Germany has declared war on, war on them, even though what the hell is going on. Berlin has fallen, yes, that happened a while ago, but oh well. Push through here. Oh, there's just an encirclement waiting to happen. Oh, go this way. And I think that's it for those divisions. Alright, it's January 30th, and we are about to destroy all of these divisions. In a moment. They don't even have a port. Oh, they, they do. But it's like very far away. There are a lot of divisions here, holy. Even if they're like not actually doing anything. Oh yeah, this is about to be beautiful. Let's get rid of all these divisions. Ooh, yes. 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 That is beautiful. Oh my. Alright. Let's get these guys back on the front lines. Have them go down this way. There. These guys probably want an infantry expert. And we'll give it to them. Uh, this guy. Okay, I'm logistics wizard. 
just so our supply problem isn't as much of an issue as it is for some reason. Can I attack, please? All we need to do is just take Hamburg, which we're for some reason incapable of doing so. Uh, we need to finish this quick. Italy is going to join the war soon. No, come on! We were just about to do it. Oh, that is so annoying. All right, we'll, we'll take out Germany. And probably the Italians as well, but that is so annoying. Usually they don't join for like at least a little bit longer. Alright, we're gonna have to convert this army into infantry. And we don't have any men. That's nice. Oh my god, we're about to get rolled. Holy crap, okay. Oh shoot, I nah not paying attention. Bro, come on. How are you not destroying these guys? Go, 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 take Hamburg, take Hamburg. Let's go! We got Hamburg. It's gotta be it, right? Oh my god, still 89%. Oh, I'm about to capitulate. Oh no. This is bad. Um, Kermit does send them. Army 5. Uh, yeah, this is uh, completely my fault, guys. Uh, my bad. We need people to come down and help us. A lot. Oh my goodness, I screwed this up. How did I screw this up this bad? It was going so well. All going so well. And then it wasn't. Okay. Well, all we got to do is just make sure they don't take over Paris. And I'm going to start microing a little bit. And put some pins down like this. Yeah, I mean, Italy's. We all know how Italy is. It's. Yeah, it's it's not that serious ever. Come on. Like, come on, it's Italy. Italy knows how to screw things up for itself. Yeah, Italy, Italy, Italy. Ha <sighs> Italy. Germany on the other hand though is actually starting to do something and I'm starting to get worried. Oh, there we go. And they capitulated in September 1939 to us. Or, not to us, but like just to the Allies in general. So, now we will just stack troops and eat up Italy. And yay. And we'll call it game. But holy crap, how did I lose all these? Oh, it's probably because I was just spamming attack with these guys. And uh, it didn't go too well for me. Send these guys down here. Oh, somehow a cavalry division survived. Oh, what goats. Alright, these guys can just go on cleanup duty, I guess. Oh, these Italians in Wilhelmshaven will soon be eradicated from the face of the earth. Yeah, we lost a lot of troops in this war. Not great. Not great at all. But alright. So we've gotten foreign guest workers, and now we're gonna try and get, uh, probably the Plum Violet proposal. Try and get some more cores and maybe help out with our manpower a little bit. And here it is. Civil War has broken out in Germany. Um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna help us now, but oh well. 
I'm still just gonna put more fat wheat. Whoa. That's problematic. Okay. Ooh. So protests have to send us into violence. Yeah, that's not good. We don't wanna get the stability hit because we're already kinda low, so. Just gonna leave that there for now. Use the political power. We're actually getting a lot of political power now because we did take the focus to get rid of that uh, disjointed government. Alright, Mussolini's deposed. The Italian Civil War will start up soon. And there we go, the Italian Civil War. And we should be good to go now. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know this is not good for supply or whatever, but I don't really care. And there we go. That is World War II done in 1940, and we did take out Germany in 1939. So, I guess that counts or something? So, let's try and get something out of this peace deal, and then I'll be back. Alright, so this is a very weird looking... What? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that's interesting. So the German Reich is still here, somehow? I don't know. Oh, uh, we have a puppet in French Italy. Yes, um... German Republic has been established, and if you want, you can wait until the Soviets justify in Poland and take out the Soviets and whatnot, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I think that's the end of the video and the challenge, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah. See ya.